Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And I'm um, pretty much. This video is going to be a Mark of the Beast update, which if you don't know, the Mark of the Beast is the RFID chip implant, according to the scriptures. And the reason why the world is in turmoil, you know, all these countries, they're experiencing an economic collapse, is because they want to usher in a new global system that involves a cashless digital society. So all countries are transitioning from using physical cash and this old banking system to now the CBDC, which eventually that programmable digital money will be on a device that they plan to make mandatory according to Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. So for now, everything is voluntary, you know, concerning transhumanists getting implants and stuff like that. But the day is going to come where this is going to be made mandatory in all countries because this deals with a new system that's tied to the central bank. All right. So this is the article I found. I actually found it um, a couple of days ago, but now the spirit is on me to do this video. Right. So this is from CollegeTimes.com. And this is the title of it. If you want to search it up. It says, no more lost keys, ID cards, Dubai ex expat to implant microchip in hand. So they're trying to push this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, as a thing of convenience. They're trying to push this as a miracle. Oh, this could make your life easier. No more wallet. You know, no more crime. You don't have to worry about misplacing it. It's in your hand. But that's the deception part. And the scriptures talk about that in Revelation 19 and 20. It says he deceived them, which received the mark of the beast. All right. They was deceived into taking it. But once you receive this chip, you cannot repent. And only salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, of the sea line of Jacob, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians. All right. So as you can see here, this is the woman right here. Right. And this is from a site, DangerousThings.com. Now, let's jump back to the article, right? So, this came out Monday, the 11th of March, 2024. Gives you the time. And it says, goodbye to the days of fumbling with a bunch of keys or worrying about misplacing them for this du Dubai resident. It says, starting next month, Briar um, Pre Prestige, I guess that's how you say her name, a New Zealand expat is ready to embrace a future without keys. Only a microchip implanted in her hand. It says the CEO and founder of the Prestige Group and award-winning documentary producer, Prestige, is set to undergo the procedure during her upcoming trip to the United States. It says the tiny radio frequency identification, RFID, electronic tag roughly the size of a grain of rice, will be surgically implanted in the back of her hand using a syringe. And I'm going to show you how the procedure of the RFID chip implant is in the Bible. All right. It says, um, Prestige, I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong, but I mean, you see how it's spelled. Sees this as a way to ignite curiosity and inspire a new generation of innovative thinkers to re-image the possibilities for humanity's advancement. I am going to open myself to technology, she said, holding up the chip she recently brought online, demonstrating how it works. It says it will be implanted in the fleshly parts of my skin on the back of my hand, she explained, so that I can unlock my car or unlock the door to my house or gym. So the type of times we coming into is all countries will experience an economic collapse in order to usher in a new system that the central bankers control, all right? Because this New World Order 2030 agenda, that's their agenda 
to centralize the whole world and have full control over the currency in the form of CBDC and also the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. So if you want to access the Internet, you want to be an entrepreneur, you know, you want to be your own boss. If you employ by a company, everything you do in society, accessing the Internet, you know, every single thing, buying goods, anything that's associated with buying and selling, you're going to have to get this chip when they make it mandatory. All right. So the real believers in Hamashiaki Hausha is not going to take that chip. And some of us is going to be put to death pursuant to Revelation 24. All right. So let's go down here. It says, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's see what else it's going to say. Yep, it says, um, Brayer mentioned that although she won't immediately have the capability to pay for purchases by simply hover hovering her hand over a scanner at a checkout counter, which there's chips that can actually do that, all right? She's eagerly anticipating being on the waiting list for the payment enable chips. I'm excited for the payment ones, she said. As they eliminate the need to carry around your phone for Apple Pay, a significant step towards seamless integration. All right. So there you go. So now let's just jump into the scriptures. This is the NLT version. This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, because you have obeyed my command to persevere. And this is only referring to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Because when you go into this word persevere, it says to continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success, because the elect of the nation of Israel, we are being diligent and proving our faith to Yahweh and Yahweh by denying this world. And ultimately, we're going to have to deny the system completely when the time comes. It's going to make us an outcast. All right. We have everything against us. We have the world against us. You know, the scriptures say in Matthew, the 10th chapter. You know, your enemies is in your household with you, all right? We're dealing with all type of trials and tribulations, from finances to relationships to just people in general, you know? Just demons, just messing with us, you know, the plague of the mind, illnesses. But through your Habashah, we're enduring. You know, we're, we're beating these trials and tribulations. We're passing the test, right? So now let's go back. So the Lord is saying what? Because you kept the faith, right, while the doors of mercy was open, I might have mercy on you during Jacob's trouble. I might have mercy on you during the hour of temptation to give you a stable mind and to give you the gift of faith to say, no, I'm not taking the mark of the beast. I'm not taking that RFID chip implant. I'd rather serve Yahweh and Yahweh Shai instead of the God of this world, which is Satan and his physical counterpart, the Edomites, the so-called white man in Elon. It says... I will protect you from the great time of testing, also known as the hour of temptation, the time period where they make this mark of the beast mandatory throughout all countries, because the mark of the beast is going to be tied to the system. The currency is going to be on this chip that they plan to make mandatory. That's why you're not going to be able to buy or sell, at least you have the chip, because the money is going to be programmable and it's going to be on a device that they're going to make mandatory. All right. It won't be no other options of um, payment that you can use to buy and sell. It's only going to be with this mark of the beast. All right. So the Lord is saying what? I'm going to protect you from the great time of testing. You read Isaiah 65 and 13 and 14. It says what? That his servants is going to eat. All Israel is not serving Yahweh and Yahweh in this lifetime. All right. You have Israelites that's trying to live the American dream. They follow in the way of the heathen. They believe in man-made religions. They believe in the, the philosophies and the customs of the heathen. And they have forsaken Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So during Jacob's trouble, they're going to be judged. They're going to end up being destroyed. All right? But the elect, we're going to be all right. Even though we're not going to be able to buy or sell because we're going to deny this chip, the Lord is going to make sure we still eat and we still drink and we have everything that we need. Until Yahabasha returns, right? So it says, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. So the ones of you that, 
you love your little status, you know, you like your job, you know, you, you put off this truth, because you had Israelites that came into the truth, but then they left the truth. Why? Because they went back into the world. You people are going to end up being destroyed, all right? This world is temporal. Now, let's keep going. Now, this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which is referring to Esau, Edom, right? And the image of the beast, it goes back to the setup of the ancient Roman Empire, right? The way how they ran their system. But this current system right now is modeled after the ancient Roman Empire, right? So the image of the beast is talking about his system and ultimately his new world order, right? That the image of the beast, because it's an image of a man, right? Esau is that beast. It says should both speak and it's speaking. All these articles coming out, all the news and alternative media is all over the place. The World Economic Forum is everywhere. How, how could the RFID chip implant not be the mark of the beast? It is. It says and calls that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So there's also going to be a lot of death. There's going to be a lot of persecution during Jacob's trouble. All right. Brothers and sisters that's in the truth, you know, some of us is going to be killed for denying that mark of the beast. So you got to get at that mindset. You know, you may have to die to prove your faith to your Habu and your Habu Shai. All right. Because they got different executive orders. They got things like Project Megiddo, in which when you search that up, that deals with the persecution of Hebrew Israelites. Remember, we're Hebrew Israelites by blood, all right? Whether you want to accept it or not, you are by blood. If you are a descendant of a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian man. So it says, and he calls of all. Who's the he that calls of all? The central bankers, both small and great, rich and poor. So everybody in society, right? And let me put the strongs on so we could get a better understanding of what the verse is referring to. So everybody in society, from the smallest man to the highest man, from the CEO to a bum on the street or a guy locked up in jail or prison, right? It says, and he calls it all, meaning it's going to be made mandatory, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive. When you go into this word receive, the Greek word is didome, and it says what? To give. To give something to someone of one's own accord, to give something to his advantage. So what's the advantage that the central bankers is going to have over you? They're going to have control over your life because your life is centered around buying and selling. You have to buy and sell things and pay for things in order for you to have a life. All right. Have a roof over your head, earn finances, earn wages, conduct business. Whether you work for a company, you're employed or you're your own boss, you're an entrepreneur. It still deals with buying and selling. All right. So everybody's going to be affected. So the purpose of the mark of the beast is that what? For control. They're going to fully be able to control you. You bow down to this man and you make him your God. He brands you with his mark, right? And you go into this word, right? A mark. The word mark in Greek is karagma. And it says what? And it prints a mark. Because remember, the mark of the beast was a future prophecy. John the Revelator received this on the island of Patmos 2,000 plus years ago. All right? So when you go into these root words, it's going to explain his vision clearer for you so that you can understand that we're in these times right now. Right? So it's something that's imprinted. It's a subdermal implant, meaning it has to be injected underneath your skin. Right? When you go into the root word of karagma, the Greek word is karax. And it says what? A pale steak or palisade. Now, how does this refer to John's vision of the mark of the beast? Because this definition, Karox, is talking about the syringe that's used to inject the RFID chip implant in your hand, making it an imprinted mark. All right? When you go into the root word of Karox, the Greek word is grapho, and this means to store information on a specific type of material or to store data on a device. And what's gonna be on this chip? The different ways to identify yourself, all right? The currency, identification. You hear all countries talking about, oh, we need to come up with a global digital ID. What do you think that global digital ID is gonna be? The mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. 
So you see how everything is just tying together. The chip is going to be the solution, all right, that they're going to come with. And that's the deception part for the one who, for the ones of you people that receive that chip. Because you're going to have to make that choice. It says in their right hand, your literal right hand, or in your forehead, which is talking about the brain chip implants, right, the BCIs. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. So any decentralized currencies is not going to exist in this lifetime. Cash is going to be banned. Commercial banks is going to be closed, right? The only way of payment is going to be by this chip, all right? It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Why? Because once again, the currency is going to be on the mark, all right? You're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to use Bitcoin, precious metals like gold in these times to come. The only way you would be able to buy and sell, earn wages, you know, access buildings, your car, everything, just paying for stuff, having a life is through that chip. Because it said what? He calls of all, right? So it says, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So now let me show you the judgment if you take this chip. Because this is coming worldwide. This is not just for America. This is worldwide. All countries have a central bank in them. This is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, his new world order, and receive his mark, the chip, in his forehead or in his hand, that's your left hand or your right hand or anywhere in your body, this is what's going to happen to you. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. The word indignation means righteous anger. Why is the Most High righteous for destroying you? Because you was warned through the mouth of the prophets not to take this chip, not to bow down to the image of the beast, which is his system. You was warned for decades, over and over and over again, and you still took the chip anyway. This is what's going to happen to you. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, the nuclear missiles, in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Because Yahabashah is coming back with the angels, by the way of the so-called UFOs and they're going to be implementing judgment as well. They're going to be destroying people as well that take this chip. It says, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. This is referring to Babylon the Great being destroyed in one hour. It's going to be on fire for a specific period of time but once the smoke settles, it will become a desert. Pursuant to Revelation 18 and 2. It says, and they have no rest, they know night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. All right, so I just want to do this little quick video. Lord willing, you was edified. Shout out.